How's it going guys? DJ Johnny Aftershock. We've been getting quite a bit of few calls over in the tech support department about how to use time code vinyl with your 10 MXR right through Virtual DJ. So I want to make a small little tutorial for you guys. First thing first, you want to go ahead and you have to update your 10 MXR, 14 MXR, or 19 MXR. You have to do a firmware update. So first thing you want to do is head over to American Audio's website. You can find us at adjaudio.com. You're going to click on the MXR series of controllers. You're going to pick and choose which one you have, 10, 14, or 19. I have the 10, so that's what I'm going to pick. Then you're going to scroll down until you find the download. It's going to be Virtual DJ DVS Time Code Support for Mac. Once again, guys, this is only for a Mac. If you are using a PC, the Osseo driver should compensate for it. You should have no problem whatsoever. So once again, this is just for a Mac. I myself am using a MacBook Pro 13 inch and I am using it with, I'll show you right now, 10.6.8. I have a 2.4 GHZ, Intel Core 2 Duo, 8 GB of memory. You know, it's an older Mac. It's nothing powerful, it's nothing brand new, but uh, either way, you still have to update the firmware. So let's get busy. Click on that, you're gonna go ahead and see this. You're gonna go ahead and download it. Save the file to some place where you can find it easily. I just drop it right on my desktop. It's quick, super fast, downloads. And here is the file right here. So within this file, you're gonna find the software, which is the firmware update. All right, so the firmware update is right there. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert that disk that came with your 10 MXR that came in the box. You're gonna go ahead and uh, load that in. And then within that disk, you're gonna click on the Mac folder and then you're gonna find this little folder within that Mac folder. It's a firmware update tool. So you're gonna go ahead and double click on that, drag it to your um, desktop out of the software, uh, DVD or disk onto your desktop. And it's an ADJ firmware uploader. Double click on that. This will open up right here. It says, welcome to the firmware upgrade utility says please select a device so I'm gonna go down I'm gonna pick my 10 MXR I'm gonna click on this box right here I'm gonna browse I'm gonna find my folder with my it says time code MXR 10 it'll have the update in there I'm gonna click open and upload firmware so it says right there in big letters please do not disconnect this device while the firmware is uploading guys so let it do its thing it's gonna take maybe about a half a minute uh, while it does its thing and updates the firmware for your MXR. And there we go. We got a message that says upgrade complete. Please unplug and replug your device. I would even go so far as to go ahead and just turn off the device altogether, guys, and then turn it back on. Okay, guys, so you have officially updated the firmware on your 10 MXR, which is absolutely crucial if you wanna use time code vinyl uh, with your 10 MXR. So you're gonna go ahead and open up uh, Virtual DJ. Okay, we brought that up. As you can see, it has the American Audio 10 MXR skin, a skin that was specially made for American Audio for the 10 MXR by Virtual DJ. Now, the way to do this is you wanna go ahead and head into your config, okay? And the settings you want is to have time codes, which is channel one, two, deck one, slash channel three and four, deck two. So. If you look at it, it's the very first one, all right? So you want that one to be checked off. Next thing you want it under an external mixer. And that's gonna be, of course, the first one as well, okay? And then you wanna choose um, 10 MXR. So once you uh, you know, go to this little arrow here and bring it down, it's gonna say built-in output or 10 MXR. Obviously, you want the 10 MXR. And you're gonna hit apply, okay? And then you can go ahead and load a song off right from the MXR, uh, the load B button, you hit that, or you could scroll down with your navigational knob and you could uh, load up a song right through the MXR, which is really freaking cool, okay? And you just hit that, load, and you get your Serato vinyl on there. All right, you're all set, guys. And you are now rocking vinyl without a sound card you're just basically going right out of the MXR using Serato uh, Time Code Vinyl with Virtual DJ. Okay, so you're, once again, we're using Virtual DJ here, but uh, we suggest that you use uh, any any type of uh, Serato uh, Time Code Vinyl. Usually works best, all right? Enjoy, guys.